Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for your weekly reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming up for you in the week ahead. Now this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, or to the cross watchers dealing with a fire sign, this reading can certainly be helpful for you um, to gauge what's going on on their end of things. Um, we'll see what's coming up for you in the week ahead. Uh, before I get started though, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, you can become a channel member as well and that's going to give you access to member only content and extended readings. Um, otherwise for private readings, please email me directly. I am currently accepting those. Okay, let's see fire signs. What's going on for you this week? Okay, really good start. Um, wish fulfillment coming through okay Aries you're coming up I feel like there's something you're going to be confronting definitely um sooner rather than later is what I'm getting okay two knights and they're both facing each other okay I feel like there's a readiness that wasn't there before and there's a readiness now so I'm seeing you move into a next phase of your love life um fire signs um and I feel like you can't avoid it whether you've been putting it off, um, whether you've been delaying things, no longer can you do that because I feel like the universe wants you to move forward in a situation. I feel like this is you and the person here, both coming up as knights, but this is why I feel like you're both, you're both approaching a situation because you both want a solution. You've got the nine and you've got the ten of cups. I feel like the cards are falling in your favor, fire signs. This is legit. This is the real deal, I think. Okay. You're both invested in each other. I don't see an interest in anyone else. I really don't. I feel like you and this person are just completely focusing on each other. Okay. Three of chalices is here. There's other people that are seeing your connection. We've got the Empress. Okay. So we've got the Eight. Eight, Nine, and Ten of Cups. Okay. Some of you that have been searching for something, it's coming here. It's coming in. Okay. I feel like you're finding something you've intentionally put out to the universe, whether this is in your conscious mind or whether it's from your subconscious it's coming up so i feel like you're finding something out you're finding a person a connection an important piece of conversation you're finding out that this person is like wanting to fulfill your hopes wishes and dreams like this is pretty big i don't feel like this is minor i feel like it's pretty major so that's very exciting um it could be around a water sign i definitely feel a water sign is ready um, to love or to be attached or to go to the next stage of this connection not necessarily we had Aries come up here but I feel like what I'm seeing is if it's not Cancer Pisces Scorpio ready to commit to you I feel like emotionally someone is at a more mature stage in their life and you're going to find that out um, and I feel like it's going to be music to your ears here but I feel like it's not it's something that may have had delays before so if you've had a connection where like you couldn't really find the time to date this person or, you know, work got in the way or your kids or your divorce or like something always happened and you never found the time to like connect with this person properly. I feel like the universe is about to give you the green light and to make it happen for you with that beautiful nine of cups energy. It could be someone that's a friend or that you've known as a friend for a long time. And then you sort of, you're coming into victory as the six of wands here. What I get, the, the, the empress is reversed. So what I get is that you up to this stage in your connection and in your life you couldn't be with this person because the both of you still had some growing to do but because she's coming up reverse now i'm getting a sense that the reason why the universe is bringing you together now is because you both have grown separately you've done your own thing you've been independent you've been with other people you've learned lessons with other connections other people marriages whatever um toxic people and then you're coming back together because I feel like that growth stage as individuals is over and the growth portion uh, as lovers together is starting so that's really exciting 
Six of Wands, I see some movement here. I see a lot of you fire signs physically going somewhere. Um, so I don't know if you're going to visit your person, if you're doing some traveling. Travel and romance could definitely be connected. Or I feel like you, you're taking a trip of some kind with this person. Um, it could be an actual trip, like a holiday. You could be meeting their friends, their family. Or it's like a journey you're about to set sail on. But you're literally sailing into the sunset. So I feel like people are noticing your relationship with the Three of Chalices. Like you'll have friends make comments like, oh, I've noticed you're more happy. Or I noticed that this person changed their relationship status. Or I noticed that, you know, you've been you're spending a lot of time with this person. Like the people around you are, are talking. They're making comments. They are because they're noticing very vividly the change within you, the change within this love energy. Like it's amazing. We're all energy and people are picking it up. They are. They might even be jealous. Um... But I feel like someone's competing for your love here, like, or they're about to compete because you are worth fighting for. But I just get there's a real nice mutual energy with these two knights. So I find that super refreshing because I feel like that's showing me, it's showing me this closeness. It's showing me this readiness that I keep seeing between the both of you. So this is all good signs. Some of you may be a little bit stubborn and you want this person to come to you. Trust me, you need to at least make some, even if it's a small effort, even if it's something behavioral or something that you might say to steer this person in the right direction. It can't be all them, okay? It's not 90, 10. It's not 80, 20. It's got to be 50, 50. Again, depends how keen you are on this person. But I feel like some of you, I see you sitting back knowing that this person is going to come to you and you're not going to make the effort for them. It could confuse them a little bit with the aid of chalices. They might be confused and then they might misconstrue it as, oh, my spy sign isn't actually interested in me. It's all in my head. I'm a bit delusional. Because um, it's a whimsical kind of energy. Look at all these clouds, all these like it's spirals, spirals of thoughts spirals of fantasy so it's just a bit of a disclaimer here but if you choose not to act or not to make any sort of sign towards this person it could or it may backfire to a sense where they don't think you are as interested but I don't know emotionally I feel like you're coming into a good place where you don't have to play games or be stubborn anymore so I feel like there's a there's a healthy maturity that's coming up on your side on their side that indicates you both are at the same stage together. And I love that. Like a huge wish of yours is coming true. Getting that person back. Being with them. Having them be ready for commitment. Having them show you their love. You know, not showing interest in anyone else. You know, it's something that's very important for you. Um, and I feel like the universe is granting it through this person. Through their connection and their love for you. So it's all very exciting. I think you've got a lot to look forward to this week. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. So thanks again, Fire Signs, for tuning in. It does mean a lot. I do hope to be in touch very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like if you like. And I'm sure we'll catch up soon. Bye for now.